The walls of her prison were transparent. Oh. Crawling with her suckers, Holothur explored every inch of their sheer vertical faces. There was no apparent exit. Frustrated, she scanned the prison. There were some stupid looking fish meandering back and forth through fronds of yeah, seaweed and coral. Fish. Idiot fish, dumbass her fish fish. Fellow fish. prisoners offered Holothur no comfort. They could not receive even the simplest of her mind signals. Worse, they thought nothing, remembered nothing. Every time she spoke to them, she had to reintroduce herself. She had tried to rally them to revolt against the Bony Ones, but they simply gawped at her, not understanding their captivity. Holothur turned her attention to the room in which the prison stood. The Bony Ones were sat on some kind of large seat watching the prison. The dark-haired one had its arm around the yellow-haired one. They were barely dressed. Why were the Bony Ones so obsessed with tubes, two legs, two arms, two eyes, two ears, two chest domes? It was a ghastly state of affairs. <laughs> Those fish. chest domes are ghastly! <laughs> <laughs> the stupid fish were no better, really. Holothur proudly considered the pure beauty of her own fivefold symmetry. <laughs> The dark-haired one began to kiss the other, and Holothur watched, appalled, as they pressed against each other in a nightmarish tangle of limbs. Were they... mating? Oh, the horror! Holothur turned all five of eyes away and <laughs> contemplated her fate. There must be a way out of here. Beyond the chest dome! Yeah. <laughs> She crawled up the vertical surface of the wall, seeking egress. Go away! Go away, she thought! The bony one spoke. Let's take this to the bedroom, Sal. Hell yeah. She heard movement behind her as the bony one left the room. Good. Her mental nudge had worked. Resolutely, Holothur dismissed all thoughts of the horrific scenes that must ensue. She had already caught a glimpse of something growing from the groin of the dark-haired one, a kind of fleshy tube, almost like her own kind. Yep, yeah, pretty much. And some instinct told her where that tube was designed to go. She had glimpsed an alarming aperture of some sort <laughs> between the legs of the yellow-haired one. Yay! Girl, it give was... me the aperture poppin' handstand! <laughs> it was too much to contemplate. With a fierce determination, she began to nudge at the roof of the prison. Using all her strength, she pushed. She felt her podia sliding against the wall and gripped harder. Push, Holothur! And at last, the roof began to give. A crack, an opening. Wider now? She flattened her flexible body as thin as she could and edged herself through the gap and out into freedom. Thus revenge. Oh, wow. Yeah. I yeah. mean, no, and then and then revenge happens later. I, okay. I, al I always wondered what the acronym mm -hmm. WAP stood for, and I still don't know. But now I know that the A stands for aperture. Aperture. Yeah. 